Can you introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Gwang Deng and I'm from the Kai Family Church. Um, I grew up in Australia most of my life, but I was born in Sudan and migrated to here in 2005 with my family. I'm one of the siblings of seven children in my family, and I'm second oldest, second oldest of the family. And I come, I've, I've lived in Brisbane and Melbourne, Australia. And what do you do for a living? Um, for a living, I'm working at the moment, and praise God, I'm following Jesus Christ. How was your life like before meeting Jesus Christ? Before my life, me and Jesus Christ, well, let me tell you now, there was a lot of crime, there was a lot of jail sentences, there was a lot of street activity, there was a lot of things that are not from God. If I want to go deep into it, most likely, like, I've been in, gone, gone in gang activity, gang violence, I've been, I've been in every, every type of carnage you could say in the streets. And I've seen a lot in the streets, including friends, friends, losing friends in street violence, um, committing crimes where I'm indicted and I'm incarcerated in a lot of jail cells. I've seen just life, life was not, life was not peaceful without God. Life was not peaceful without Jesus Christ. When and how did you meet the Jesus Christ? Well, funny you ask me that question. I was in jail and I met a fellow inmate that was following Jesus Christ and reading the Bible. And I met him and he was talking to me a lot about Jesus Christ. He was talking to me about the love of Jesus Christ. He was teaching me and fellowshipping me and discipling me about Jesus Christ. And then I, just, I got out of prison and I moved in with my family friend and his mother is a Holy Spirit filled woman and she took me to church and I attended church with her and she asked me and taught me a lot about Jesus. She asked me if I knew Jesus Christ actually and I did. So the more I went with her to church and the more I fellowship with her. She showed me a lot of things and opened my eyes to a new life. And also, meeting meeting the Kai family here, I've learned a lot more about Jesus Christ. And I've started to realize and gain more knowledge about the love of God and what God has for us and who Jesus Christ really is, which is our Lord and Savior. And don't look back, hallelujah, whatever. How's your life after meeting Jesus Christ? Um, my life is a lot more peaceful and a lot more sinless. Like before, without Jesus Christ, it would be easy for me to commit crimes or me to be tempted to do things. And temptation is real. The devil really, really showed up in my life and really placed people in my life and placed things in my life that were not from God and bring more anxiety, bring bring just carnage in my life, bring depression, bring, bring everything you could think of that was designed to break someone down. And Jesus is the only one that can save us and Jesus is the only one that has a plan and he's our Lord and Savior. Is there anything you want to share and say something? Um, I want to share this, that it's never too late to get with God and it's never, God never abandoned us. Is we decide to bend in God and we decide to follow our own pathways and that's what leads us into destruction and painful experiences. But God has a plan for us and God places people around us to encourage us and all we have to do is just ready to surrender. We have to be ready to surrender, ready to open and receive the message of Jesus Christ and to show us the light because it's only Him and it's only Him that we could be saved and only Him that we could change. We could change in the world for a bit in our own strength, like you can break addictions off, but the minute something happens or the minute something bad happens, that's when you turn back to your sinful ways and you get more deep and deep and deep. But if you abide and listen to the Bible and abide by Jesus Christ and his teachings and his sayings, life, life gets more easy. Even I'm not going to say this is an easy journey to follow, but this is a journey that's guaranteed peace, guaranteed more, more joy, guaranteed more understanding of who you're meant to be and who God created you to be. And the love of God teaches you how to love others and how to love yourself and how to maneuver and go through life 
without being alone because you always know there's a God up there and there's a saviour for you and it's only Jesus Christ.